Hi, my name is Chris Harper. I'm an uh, outside salesman for MagPower or Magnetic Power Systems. We're a manufacturer of tension control equipment, uh, controllers, brakes, clutches, uh, tension sensors, dancer controllers. Um, and people are asking me, well, what is it that I'm looking for? How do I know if I need to, to have you come in and, and look at our application? Well, first off, we're, we're, wanting, we're applying this to any continuous flexible web. So we're talking about printing presses, uh, slitters, uh, film manufacturers, uh, blown film, wind-up, uh, any kind of process where you're either unwinding a roll of material into a process and winding it back up, or you're creating something, extruding it, and you're winding it up on a roll. Um, that's what we're talking about. Uh, so we're, we're talking about controlling tension on unwinds, rewinds, or some point in the middle, some point-to-point -point process where we want to change the tension uh, as the process requires, which may be different than the unwind or the rewind. Um, on unwinds, uh, are you running a pneumatic brake now that uh, is just controlled with a hand regulator? Uh, if so, the question would be, does your operator have to go back once in a while and, and turn down that air pressure as the roll gets smaller, or their tension gets too high? Um, that may have worked for 10 years, and that's great. Uh, if you want to continue doing that, we can do that, but if you want to have somebody come in and show you how to automatically do that for not too much uh, cost, then we can do that so that now the brake will turn itself down and the operator will be freed up to worry about other things uh, like the quality of the product or, or the such. So we don't have to go to a full-blown closed-loop system with tension sensors and servos and things. Uh, we can simply attach a simple system to turn that air pressure down automatically. Um, if the operator forgets to adjust that uh, pressure, by the way, it may cause your web to break. So if you're getting that, we can kind of stop that with by automating the process. Uh, the, I was saying that this is for any flexible web that includes uh, wire. If we're pulling down wire for resizing, um, anything that's wound up or unwound for the process, we can apply tension to. Tension control is there, sometimes done with motors, sometimes done with brakes and clutches. On the rewind, what we're looking at there is if you wind up your material and it turns out that you're, you can't get the core off of the shaft anymore, you're crushing that core, or uh, when I'm winding up the material, I'm getting telescoping, the material's wanting to, to, to slide off to the side, I need to get a straight edge on there, or starring of the roll where we get a funny pattern on the side, and that's from layers uh, sliding on top of each other and it's actually scratching your material. We can fix that. That's actually a tension control problem. Uh, we want to apply taper tension to your application to where we're automatically controlling the tension as it rewinds to maintain constant tension, but we're also going to apply taper tension, which, which affects how tight the roll is and will keep it from sliding on itself and making the starring, or keep it from squishing in on itself and crushing that core onto the rewind shaft. Um, so more than anything, we're just looking to automate the process so you can do manually. We can fix some of your quality issues by applying taper tension and, and different uh, theories to how much tension I should be winding at. I can automate the process so that we can either free up an operator to concentrate on the actual process that you're doing, coding, laminating, printing, um, or we cut out some labor and one guy can run the machine now instead of two.